Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdell here again. In this presentation I'm going to continue my experiments with live classes via Hangouts on Air and uh, I'm going to discuss a method of proof in this presentation and in particular I'm going to discuss pr uh, the contrapositive proof or what is a contrapositive proof. So I hope you find this presentation useful, I hope you find it um, uh, engaging and also I hope you'll be able to use the contrapositive proof uh, when you're doing mathematics and wanting to prove uh, certain results, certain theorems. So let me just share my screen with you. And uh, I can summarize the idea of a contrapositive proof in the following way. Suppose I have a theorem which is like, a, you know, if A then B. Well, the contrapositive kind of switch things around. You look at not A or the negation of B and you show that it implies not A or the negation of A. Okay, so instead of proving A implies B, it's logically equivalent to prove that the negation of B or not B implies the negation of A or not A. Okay, so I'm just going to um, do a simple example here to show you how the contrapositive proof uh, works. Okay, so here we have a theorem. Let A and B be real numbers. If A is less than or equal to B plus epsilon for all positive numbers epsilon, then A is less than or equal to B. Now, I'll talk about the significance of that result a bit, little bit later, but the focus really at this point is, is how do you do the, the proof, the, and in particular, how do you do the contrapositive proof. Okay, so first of all, let's get our, um, our labeling right. Basically, you can see this is an if-then type, type uh, theorem. So A would be this information here, or capital A if you like, and the conclusion B would be this, or capital B. Okay, so to use uh, or to uh, invoke the contrapositive, what we're going to do is look at the negation of A and the negation of B. Okay, so up here we have some sort of, you know, A implies B type expression or statement. Okay, so let's break it down a bit and what is the negation or not A? Okay, so what is the negation of this here? Well, the negation is there is at least one value of epsilon such that this it doesn't hold. So you just basically uh, replace the less than or equals to with a greater than sign. Okay, and that's just the same as the following. Okay, I'll use this a bit later. Okay, so what is the negation of B, big B? Well, just flip the inequality around and uh, basically replace less than or equals to with uh, greater than. Okay, so we want to show that this implies this. Okay, so let's start with this and then we'll try to end up with this by picking an epsilon such that this, this holds. Okay, so if, if this is true, then I can rearrange that 
and A minus B will be positive. Now, if I choose, say, epsilon to be half of this, then this is a positive value because A minus B is uh, positive. And now, what we're going to do, we're going to try to make, uh, see if this expression really is positive for, for this choice of epsilon. Okay, so let's replace epsilon with A minus B all on 2. Okay, so here I've got A minus B minus half of A minus B. So that is going to give us the following. And is this positive? Well, if we look up here, yes it is. This is definitely positive. So we've shown for this epsilon, this is true, which is equivalent to this. So we've now shown that this implies this. So actually, that's all the contrapositive proof, proof is. OK. So that, that was pretty simple. The, the proof, basically, for an if-then type theorem was basically switched around. Instead of proving A implies B, say, directly, what you do is you prove the negation of B implies the negation of A. Not B implies not A. And, and um, you can use the fact that the um, uh, A implies B is logically equivalent to not B implies not A. Okay, so uh, a good question now is what is the actual significance of this result? Well, this result is used quite widely um, when you want to prove some sort of inequality like this. And in fact, um, uh, there are some uh, maximum principles, for example, for partial differential equations, where you use this very fact, this very simple fact, to, to prove a, a quite deep result uh, involving a maximum principle for um, the heat or the diffusion equation. Okay, but, but that's a subject of, of other videos. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. Um, what I would suggest is that you have a go at applying the contrapositive to the mathematics that you're looking at and the, the proofs or the results that you're looking at. Um, please join me again for another Hangout on Air. I'm really enjoying the experience. If you have feedback, then please let me know what you like and what you don't like. Uh, your your uh, suggestions, your criticisms, your comments are all really highly valued. So. Um, uh, I'll keep doing these hangouts on air because I'm really enjoying them, but do let me know what you think. All right, thanks again. See you later.